Howdy folks and welcome back to my channel. Out here in the workshop today and I've got this here base. Um, I recently did a review of this. This is the cheapest base on Reverb uh, and that's exactly what I titled the review. And um, this base is about 90 bucks. You can get these on Reverb or you know, a number of places. And uh, I actually, my main complaint about the bass is it wasn't set up very well, but that's often the case with inexpensive instruments. But after giving it a setup, it's not too bad. But the pickup in it is, is not the greatest. And the neck is really like kind of unfinished and I really don't like the feel of it. And so I thought, hmm, you know, a setup did wonders on this little bass. What would happen if I took the neck off here, put a nice, uh, you know, finish on it? and then um, swapped out the pickup. And I happen to have right here, this is a Wilkinson bass pickup I had in my parts box. It's brand new, never been used. And it's not a super expensive pickup, but it's, it's probably better than what's in there. So I'll swap that out while I've got it apart too. And uh, who knows, I might do something else while I've got it apart. Sometimes, uh, you know, projects just kind of grow that way. So anyway, let's see if we can take the cheapest bass on reverb and make it something I'd like to play. Okay, so first steps first, I took the neck off. And I just want to point out, um, took all the parts off of it, this tuner, this neck plate, the uh, tuner ferrule, and these screws are all like pretty high quality metal. They're all metal. And like, as I'm looking at them, I'm going, these are not, not bad quality. So, okay, so here is the stripped neck and you can see all the metal parts are off and I've got some Danish oil here and, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, the first coat of Danish oil is on. Uh, I'm not sure how well that shows up to the camera, but definitely it's still a little wet. And uh, I'm gonna let this dry. And while that's drying, I'll take a look at the, uh, the body over here and swapping out that pickup. Okay, I have removed the old pickup here and uh, the pick guard and the rest of the stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and wire up the new one. Now, looking at this, now that I have it out of the base, um, it actually, it's not really that bad of construction. It's kind of light, like for a bass pickup, it feels kind of light, which makes me wonder what kind of magnets are in there and all that, but it doesn't look like the construction's all that bad. So I'll probably hold on to this and maybe use this for a couple of, uh, cigar box guitar pickups or something in the future, but let's get this baby wired up. Okay. So I just got a wild hair here. And, uh, as I was taking the bass apart and I had the pick guard off, I was like, you know what, I could probably paint that. So I sanded it, um, you know, to give it a little tooth. And then I just painted the pick guard. So I'm gonna see if I can make it from white to black. This might fail horribly and I might end up sanding it back down, but let's give it a shot, why not? Okay, so the oil has soaked in here and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up, but like for me sitting here, the grain I can see so much more of the grain here, like in the fretboard and then even on the back of the neck. And it feels so much better than that like rough wood you had before. So um, this is a step in the right direction. So I might have to do another coat here. Um, looks like it's fairly dry. And then also on the body here, I've got the new pickup installed. Not sure how well you can see that, but I got the new pickup installed. Um, obviously I need the pick guard to put the whole thing back together, but uh, seems to be coming right along. So um, waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, folks, so I got another crazy idea. I was looking at the uh, knack with all the finishing and I was like, you know what? What if I just paint the headstock black? So I masked it off and I'm giving it a coat of black. And meanwhile, I got uh, another coat there on the uh, pick guard. So we'll have a matching pick guard and headstock when I'm done, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, so one other little touch I added here while I, after I got the, the black paint on, I had this little water slide uh, decal from one of the previous kits I did and uh, I put that on there. So it's a cheapo now. <laughs> All right, it's uh, time for the uh, coat of clear on here and this baby should be ready to go. Okay, so while the neck is drying, I went ahead and put the body back together so you can see the pick guard is on, the pickup is in, all the uh, trim pieces are back on, got the strings all kind of tied up here to keep them out of the way. And the next thing is I need the neck and I will bolt the neck on here and we'll see what we got. Okay, so the neck is about ready here. So, by the way, I feel like I've been out here a long time. I've been out here for several hours working on this thing, but to be honest, most of the time has been waiting for paint to dry. 
But anyway, so I got the uh, I got the hardware back on there on the neck. You can see that nice sheen on the fretboard, hopefully. And then on the back of the neck, it looks really good. Now I did, my t masking tape wasn't as great as it should have been here. So you can see there's a couple spots where the, the uh, there you go, there's one there too, where the um, paint kind of went over my masking tape. So that's okay. Eventually I can just come back and take a little sandpaper, sand that down and then re-oil it. But overall, um, it looks really nice. The neck looks really good. So last step was put this baby together. Okay, here we are with the completed product. So you can see, I really like this aesthetic with the black and yellow. It's kind of got like a bumblebee sort of a vibe or something. Uh, but overall, we see that Cheapo logo on the headstock. Um, we see the everything back together, the Wilkinson pickup there. And um, I'm anxious to plug it in and try it out. And uh, one other thing that I noticed when I took this apart, guys, in the neck pocket they had placed this as a shim this is just a little piece of like balsa wood or something that they had put in there as a neck shim now that's not uncommon on some bases they will shim them from the factory to make the action a little uh play a little better but uh you know as i started to put it back together i put it in there and i took it out and i put it in there and i was like i'm gonna try it without well now the action's a little high because it doesn't have the shim in there but i think i can adjust the bridge down looks like i've got enough room but I can probably make it play okay without the shim, so it'll take a quick setup. Um, so I'll do that now. But overall, um, that was a fun little day in the workshop. Like I said, most of the time was spent watching the paint dry or you know, waiting for the paint to dry, but there we go. So first things first, I oiled the neck, gave it a nice uh, kind of uh, finish here, and then um, ended up painting the headstock, which I didn't plan on, but painted the headstock and then put that little cheapo logo on there. I painted the pick guard black like that. And I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but it has like a little bit of an orange peel to it. I think that came from the clear coat because it looked really smooth prior to the clear coat. But then after the clear coat, it has this kind of orange peel texture. But I kind of like that on a pick guard because to me, a pick guard shouldn't be perfectly smooth. I mean, you know, it's not bad if it has a little texture. So I actually kind of like that. And uh, then of course the pickup and that other than that, you know, this is still basically a $90 base, but I'm gonna guess that it plays a little better, especially it will after this setup. So anyway, guys, that was a little fun, uh, fun little thing in the workshop here. Just took this base and uh, took a $90 base, cheapest base on reverb and made it into a, a base that I like to play. So uh, I'll give her a quick setup here and then uh, we'll see what it sounds like. And folks, if you like what I do in these videos, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. This channel is all about musical miscellany. I'll see you in the next video.